Today, we're gonna to be refurbing this uh, slight adjustment tool. The problem with it is, you hit anything, the head flies off. This is a friend of mine's old hammer. And he's had it decades now. He's even got his little initials and that. It's the first bit of welding he'd ever done. So he wanted to get the new handle replaced because it keeps flying off. Uh, but I thought I'd refurb the whole thing. I'm gonna to have to make him a new handle because this bit's shot up here now, as you can see. So let's get onto it. So let me just explain what I'm doing then. Give you a bit of a close up. Right, this is the head. It's not really majorly rusty. It's just got like mud and some pit marks and that on it. So I'm gonna be using this miniature chimney sweep. And I'll be using these two tiny little witch's brooms as well. Years of stories on this head. So uh, let's clean it all up a little bit. tidied up. I used like a brass uh, Dremel piece to actually give a bit of contrast on here. I think it's actually taken onto the actual head somewhat so it actually sh shows up on these two cheek faces here so they're actually different than the uh, the darker on here. I've uh, given it a linseed oil finish and I think it's uh, coming up really nice. I'm going to turn our attention to the handle now. As you can see it's old, split, warped, knackered useless. Uh, so I've got a bit of oak here, I'm going to craft myself a handle out of that and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> Children of the war 
there you have it. Slight adjustment tool, all fully refurbished. I think it absolutely looks the bomb. I do like this uh, burnt oak on the handle. I think it looks absolutely great, but you know, every good hammer needs a good testing. So let's go and find something suitably hard for it to hit. We don't want to be hitting marshmallows now, do we? Let's give it a little test. We have to whisper a bit here because we don't want to scare the uh, dinosaur away. They're known as being really tough and aggressive. But I'm sure the hammer can take it out. I thought this was a really fun build in the end, uh, chuffed with the way this actually turned out. Never actually done a restoration before, so if you did actually like the video and you like the hammer, give it a little like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more rascalish action to come. I'd just like to point out to any uh, animal welfare people out there that absolutely no dinosaurs were hurt in the making of this video. He's got a thick skull and I've just fed him anyway, so it, it'll be all right, you know, little Rexy, come on. Either click my face here to subscribe to my channel or click a video here or click a video here. I'll see you on the next one.